Hello viewers, in this presentation we establish the relationship between investment and capital formation. In this video we learn what is capital stock, what is investment and we will know how to calculate capital stock or capital formation at a time or during a period of time. Capital formation or capital stock is a flow concept because capital formation is the net capital accumulation during an accounting period of a country or capital formation refers to new additions to capital goods like equipment, tools, machineries, buildings, transportation assets, electricity or power supply etc. Thus, capital formation is a process of adding to a given stock of capital over time or the change in capital stock is continuous over time. So, the capital stock K is a function of time T or K within bracket small t is the capital stock at time t that is k t refers to the capital stock at time t and the rate of change in capital formation is dk by dt that is derivative value of capital stock over time is the rate of change in capital formation or dk by dt is the rate of change in capital formation on the other hand k t is the capital stock at time t. On the other hand, the capital formation is the net investment flow over time or net investment is the new addition to capital stock. Therefore, the relationship between capital stock and net investment is the rate of capital formation at time t is equal to the rate of net investment flow at time t or dk by dt is equal to investment at time t that is i t. Well, we found dk by dt is equal to i t which implies dk is equal to i t dot dt and taking integration on both sides we get integral of dk is equal to integral of investment function i t with respect to t. After integrating dk that is uh, integration of dk is nothing but k t is equal to integration of investment function i t dt. Therefore, capital stock is the integral of the investment function with respect to time. Therefore, the exact relationship between capital stock and investment is that the capital stock is nothing but the integral of investment function with respect to time. Taking this relationship, we can calculate the capital formation or capital stock at a particular point of time or during a particular period of time. Now, we take some examples where we will calculate capital stock or capital formation during a period of time or at particular point of time. Example 1, the net investment flow is given by i t is equal to 3 into root over t find capital stock at time t if initial capital stock is k within bracket 0. Solution, the capital stock is the integral of net investment flow with respect to time t or k t is equal to integral of i t with respect to t and that is equal to integration of 3 multiplied by root over t dt and integration of 
3 into root over d t with respect to t is found 3 multiplied by t to the power 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 plus c and that is equal to 2 into t to the power 3 by 2 plus c. Here c is arbitrary constant, but when t is equal to 0 then k 0 that is in place of t if we write 0 then we get k 0 is equal to 0 plus c that means k 0 is equal to c. So, k 0 is the initial capital stock. So, the desired capital formation or capital stock at time t that is k t is equal to 2 into t to the power 3 by 2 plus k 0. Let us take another example that is example 2 where we are asked that the question is given is like given that i t is equal to 8 into t to the power 1 by 3 that is investment function find the capital formation in 8 years and for the period of first 2 sorry for the period of first years to fourth years. Solution the capital formation in 8 years that is first 8 years is equal to k t equal to definite integral of investment function i t from 0 to 8 with respect to t and that is definite integral of 8 into t to the power 1 by 3 from 0 to 8 with respect to t is equal to 8 into t to the power 4 by 3 divided by 4 by 3 from 0 to 8 and that is equal to 6 multiplied by t to the power 4 by 3 from 0 to 8. So, after putting the value we get 6 into 8 to the power 4 by 3 minus 0 to the power 4 by 3 and that is equal to 96. So, 96 is the capital formation in the first 8 years. Now, the capital formation in between first year to fourth year is definite integral of investment function i t with respect to t from 0 to 4 sorry from 1 to 4 that is capital formation for the period in between first year to fourth year that is why 1 to 4 and that is equal to definite integral of 8 into t to the power 1 by 3 from 1 to 4 with respect to t is equal to 8 into t to the power 4 by 3 divided by 4 by 3 from 1 to 4. So, after simplifying it we get 6 into t to the power 4 by 3 from 1 to 4 by putting the value we get 6 into 4 to the power 4 by 3 minus 1 to the power 4 by 3 and that is equal to 32.098. So, this is the capital formation in between first year to fourth year or in between first year and fourth year. Well, so this is about the calculation of capital formation from investment function with the help of integration and this is about the relationship between capital formation and investment and this is about the meaning of capital formation or investment function. I hope you have cleared the preliminary idea about investment and capital formation and preliminary idea 
about the use of integration to find out the capital formation from investment function. Thank you.